we'd like to share our thoughts with you about our experience visiting child care centers and reading aloud to the children who attend them with our project First Steps to the Library. I'd like to introduce my esteemed colleagues, Heather McHugh and Laura Kennett, who are librarians in the children's room. We all work at the main library. They have been invaluable in helping with this presentation. 35% of children, as we all know, are not ready to read when they go to school. And actually, study after study tells us that when you surround children with a wealth of books, a large quantity of books, quality books, and caring people who read aloud to them, then those children will go to school ready to read. It's a nice byproduct of reading aloud to children that it facilitates literacy. And we've heard about literacy in the school districts tonight, and reading aloud does bring about literacy for children because they come to learn how to read more easily. But of course, librarians love books, and we want other people to love books. And we want these children to find reading pleasurable. We want them to love to read. We want to surround them with books so that they'll be excited about reading. And we know that if we read to them every day, that they will love reading and they'll have a culture of reading in their lives. And they will come to the public library and extend that reading from the books they found in their child care center. And we hope that they will be as excited as the children who meet tonight and we know these children at these centers will be as excited as four-year-old Henry. Now, we have lots of books that we give out at our child care centers, and one of the first ones is Uptown by Brian Collier. And the children who read Uptown are inspired by the brownstones of Harlem, and after they read it, they have a vision of what it's like to live in New York City. And when they hear Sleepy Time Rhyme, they hear the lyrical, rhythmic language that Remy Charlotte offers them, and they have their emotional development nurtured. And when they read Freight Train, they're informed about the different cars of a train. They see a gondola car, and they know what it is. And when they read You and Me Together, Moms and Dads Around the World, they're introduced to children from all over the world through the beautiful photography of Barbara Curley, and they learn about the world beyond their door. And they have their curiosity aroused by Sylvester and the Magic Pebble. You might recognize his art because much of his art was on the cover of the New York Times for many years. He's well known for all his picture books too. And we librarians love two lines from this book, which are, Miss Heather? Being helpless, he felt hopeless. And night, night came, came with many stars. stars. The lyrical, beautiful language in these books brings children close to the human heart. Henry. Henry's very excited about reading, and we know that the children in these centers are going to be as excited about him. So we're going to meet his mother, Molly, and see what she has to say about his reading. I am the parent of a four-and-a-half-year-old child who is already starting to read on its own for pleasure. And that's really come about because I put the books in front of him. I brought him to the library and took up his story time. And um, as parents, you don't know if your children are going to love reading or not, but I brought him to the toddler's story time, and at first he couldn't sit through it, and then gradually, you know, through hearing more and more stories, uh, I saw him become somebody who was just fascinated by stories of, of any topic. It didn't have to be about boys, it didn't have to be about trains. He's, he's, he's into anything. And then, beyond that, all of a sudden, he was starting to read. He was looking for something to eat. He was tasting something slimy. He likes slimy. The boy went Obviously, Henry thinks reading is fun. It's certainly not a chore to him. And that's what we want for all of the children in First Steps to the Library. Funded by Richland County First Steps this year with $64,000. The $64,000 buying books, paying the salary of two librarians who work only during the school year for 16 hours per week each, and bookcases for the books to be in. The bookcases are in the classrooms with the children, so they have easy access to these books. They can touch them, feel them, look at them, read them anytime they want. 
There are 2,176 children that we reach through First Steps to the Library at 45 child care centers. Each center is given 300 books initially, and the center's director must sign a contract which says, we will read aloud to these children every day. They will also agree in this contract to let the children take the books home so they begin to experience what it's like to borrow books from a collection. And later, we know that they'll come to the public library and do the same. The collection of books is updated every year, so those 300 books are added to, because new books are published every year, wonderful books, like I Ain't Gonna Paint No More, a storytime favorite by Karen Beaumont, and Lois Ehlert's brand new Wag a Tail. Of course, we have to make sure to replace favorites that get well-worn and read again and again, like Go Away, Big Green Monster by Ed Emberley, and the very wonderful and famous The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. 